Yeah. So up there with those big maybe potentialies. And the possibilities of that are just through the roof. Yeah. The Julies are out, but they're not in the hands of who you expect. It's Tizian wielding those weapons. Maybe above the hut, we'll have to see. It's big. They start things off on the CT side here. Although, is that a blessing or a curse? We'll have to wait. That's a good nade. Yeah, that's a curse. Amadek with all the nades down to 10 from that grenade. He's going to try and use them while he's still alive. He's like, well, better come up with some reason that I bought all this so that it's not just in vain. Drops that smoke early on. Taps it, taking a fight, and he does tap down Jax. Over here outside, as a rotation coming in from our mate Searson. Oh, Searson putting up one. They do deal with Tapson. Is he at his dual Berettas? Now, he was equally as inspired by Keto. Searson stealing all the glory right now. Next up, does put one. And where there once was man in hell, now there is not. All right, well, Harry's broken. The Deagle that isn't in this round, potentially next round. It's the duelies that I meant to say, uh, get them confused, they're so strikingly similar. Oh, yeah, Tizian, he ran out of main, and that baited Amanek in. He didn't know Keita was in the corner, and he will double down to close the round. Big with a pistol. They've been very good at these pistols. Now G2. No bomb plan. Still always the temptation to force in the current meta. You know what they say about temptation, Hugo? What do they say, Trace? I don't know. I was asking you. Oh, no. It's just how you perceived it, I guess. I don't know. They're not going to. They they overwhelm the uh, the devil in their head, and they don't buy. It's just flashes for Amanek and a P250 as they go quick out the door through the Molotov down the be event to B. They make it. Tizzy is going to try and oh. chase him down. Hunt Hunter. What's Amanek's already on the B side. Hunter oh. takes it out. What a big brain! And he's got a gun now. A chance to go back on. Oh, back up. He dodged Zantaris, who was already down B as well. Amanek's in the vent. Oh, they Cut that off and back down they go into Zantaris. He's oh. not going to escape it the second time around. Bomb and drop next on a flank. He could put a knife in the back of the Glock. Doesn't. How? Don't tell me they're going to win this round and thank goodness they do not big do keep that one under wraps three for Zantares. yeah you know it, it's like a wise man uh, i think a russell once said was something like where there was once glory there was a vent drop that almost ended the whole round right there and it was right there too for the taking hunter with that bomb gets caught out and that was pretty much the end of the round right there Man, luckily enough, you got Zantares, the sentry turret inside of the B side. <laughs> oh, turret is he's not even turns. moving. He's just like, like scanning his surroundings. Goes, D -d 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 -d, and then just changes it up to somewhere else, if you can imagine it. I've can you imagine it? I hope the sound effects helped. Yeah. Like if you're if you're G2, you know what to expect from Zantares. He's going to be on that oh. ramp rotation down every time into that same spot in B round after round. So it's a bit of a go-to for him. He even plays it in T-side post plants. He's that ready. Well, G2, they've made their way into secret, but not much further, and it's come at the cost of their in-game lead. A nice grenade. The Harmonic doesn't even move. Yeah, just yeah well. Take it. This AK buy is, uh, well, it's really not come together quite yet until Kenny finds two. Eventually, it's just him, and, well, there's nothing left to do. But let that one play out. It's going to be a scrapped AK. Tavson picks it up. 3-0, big. Off to a good start. The Deagles are going to come out here for the side of G2. For the glory, Harry. Yeah, man, I mean, that's what it's all for, you know, that and trying to move up the rankings because we're approaching this like midway point in the uh, in the pro league season of 12, as some might say. Season 12, season of 12. I mean, the pro league isn't offended when I say it either way, I suppose. Oh, so. dude, that was nice. Though. Look, there was a little uh, double nade towards outside and that allowed Searson to just remove one with no problem. Yeah, I don't know about the everybody standing around red box, Drat. That's not really... 
uh, I don't know about Astralis, they did this yesterday and they, they used the entire round time on a Glock round just standing behind red waiting. Yeah, I remember it going so well for them. Yeah, they got wrecked. <laughs> <laughs> yes, indeed. At least it's Deegs. This has gone all the way back to spawn. He's low and he doesn't want to die. Grimy angle. I love the way Nexa looks in his profile picture, man. He looks so confident. He looks like he could be the next like CEO of G2. Just you wait till you see him. I bought that up and now we're never going to look at him again. Probably. Everyone but. Everyone but. It's actually happened, hasn't it? Tabs and jump peeking to see if Jax comes in with this peek. He doesn't. There's Amanek. Who's next to him, though? Give me Nexa, please. It's all I want. It was like a timing-based thing, and it's just completely gone. That's fine. That's fine. Okay. He's trolling. We can forget all about it. Jack's moving down here towards Decon. And while there he, he is. is, Nexa, look at him. There we go. Oh, and he's gone. We got it for a moment. And if you saw it and you agree, that's cool. If not, it doesn't matter. It died in the war. It didn't. It Nexa moving in through control. But is he in control? Well, he is physically. What about... I, I can't think of the, how you would even phrase this, but the Deagles, they deliver. The B-Site is actually belonging to G2 right now. Jack's holding the vent, rotate, oh. and his Deagle's good for another. Nexa left in the clutch, and it's pretty tricky. Tizian gets the better of him. G2, they, they get the bomb down at the very, very least. They make that expensive for big. Yeah, no rush. Retrieve all the grenades off the ground, get all those deagles, pound them down, but 4-0 for big. And, well, like we all expected, the CT sides, they've just been so strong in this series. Uh, obviously, we're on a different map, right? We go from the two most T-sided maps in the pool to Nuke, famously CT-sided. But even though times are changing, it's a good start for big. It's all off the back of the pistol, though. Now we've got a big old buy for G2 to fight back. No AWP. Citizen's upgraded as well. He's got one of his own. Double org as well. We see so much of that usage in the garage and towards ramp rooms. Antares is doing the latter of which. First on the A site. G2 might want it as well. They've set up heavy towards lobby, looking at the door. Smoke down early. They can sneak through. Taps is playing that vent as well, right behind it. Oh dear. The flash is perfect. No one's even looked. Tapson's just biding his time. And there it is. There's one, two from Tapson. Bomb dropped. Amanek trades, but it's come at a cost. A man down at G2. And Amanek getting cleaned out from heaven. Searson outside, waiting for that wrap round and big with five. Now, it, you, and you know, Hugo, I just kind of want to get some insight here from you because okay. I'm seeing a trend here. All right. And and I don't know if, I, if I'm crazy for this. No, I'm Maybe. seeing it. I'm, I know you what you're going to say. I think I know what you're going to say. And, and I'm seeing a trend that is one team puts up double digits and a, like a very, you know, comforting double digit score line. Yeah. And then, and then it all starts to fall down. So I don't want to get my hopes up here in the first half. The thing that I'm noticing, Trace, is that every single map so far has started 7-1 in favor of a team or 7-0, I guess, at one point in time. So now we see if this is going to be a more dominant start, you know, if you're able to go 5-1, you've actually done better than both teams managed to do earlier on. Incredible. Or do we just, do, are we just using the same template again? Tremendous, tremendous. Oh, well, big, they want a sixth at least. They want to get close and they might just. Antares, does he get peaked here? Yeah. That angle's so dangerous, man. It used to be really peaked it now. Yeah, it used to be so good. Like, you see, like, Boomich just dropping smokes and running away free. But now everyone knows. Everyone just pre fires the corner. And Zantaris, he gets out, but he gets tagged. And this orb is still here for Sis and G2. They're kind of trapped in secret. They don't want to go back out into what could be the orb, but it's a ramp. Nice nade. Utility's been great for big in this series. Molotov down to force that player out. Play towards B instead. Centaur is back in his prime time spot. Next to late, but he's here anyway. See some of the orpers rotated down. The door's yet to open, so he's looking at the window. Bomb dropped. Follow up shot to Jax. Uh, Centaur is going to move in to finish the job. He won't be able to. Jax keeps his round intact. Oh. Yes, Searson offering up that kill has given G2 a chance. I'm now looking to get planted and it will come through. Jax might have just... Oh, Keto didn't even look. Deary me. That would have been a freebie. Instead, Jax reaps the reward. And now for Tizian and Tabson. 
It's a bit awkward for Tizian in the vent, isn't it? Tabson going to try and get out of there, but they hear him running. And G2, they've done it. It broke the curse. They did. It's no longer 7 1, it's 5 1. And now there's a chance at a little bit more. Why? Oh, Harry, so it's sad. Fan. Wait, why are you talking about Alex like that? <laughs> Just recall a time that uh, this happened to me, and I was told to open my mind about anime, which is not at all what I was talking about. Kenny S still the common denominator here. Was that like a still frame or a live video? No, that was Alex. It was, it was a repeating. It was a repeating video. Yeah, because you only have one monitor. How's he supposed to watch a stream if that's his own what? feed? What if he doesn't want to watch a stream? He just wants to watch Alex all oh, day. Oh yeah, actually, also a good option. Y'all you know? are pathetic. Anyways. So no seven ones today, but five ones. That will suffice. Yeah, big are uh, broken, right? These rounds coming close has left them with nothing for the seventh round. And so AK, oh, sorry, M4, or Mag 7. Not quite the Nova that we saw on Hunter earlier in the series. Yeah, I'm not impressed. I mean, if anything, get the blunderbuss. Saw it off. <laughs> on the CT side? Well, I mean, when you get the option to get it on the T side. Let's see if Keto can steal it back, steal some money away from G2. Bodies, Hi. bags, and there's one. Jax as well with the bomb. Missed shot, spells his demise. The orb is mollied out on the site, and Jax opens up with two. Tizian burning. He's got to get as many as he can in as short a space possible. Next up with another Kenny holding lobby, and Zantaris grabs the AK and runs the site down. He knows the bomb's here, and he wants to try and take it back. Oh Running out of ammo, God. though, and Hunter wins the fight. Oh, I like that play. He could have easily tried to one-on-one -on -one Kenny after he had him trapped, but instead attempts to run down that bomb, unable to do so. Nice try from Keto. Yeah, it's that feeling after you get the first Max 7 shot off, and then you're like, go for the second. You're like, oh, yeah, I got this in the bag. I'm going to get him. Then you miss, and you're kind of screwed. But... All right. So actually, I think what we should do is get everyone that plays musical instruments to get in the Discord and try to play them all at the same time. I'm talking like 15 guitars, like 25 drum we sets. Cut to that in a, in, in, in a timeout and listen in. Yeah. See what they've come up with. <laughs> like if they're playing it all. Yeah. In synchrono synchronous. Simplicity, I think it's the word. Syn uh, dino crisis. <laughs> They're in the vent. Big, bigger right here. Not for long, though. Keto's come down. Mag 10's holding him uh, from the econ. Keto doesn't react. That's the second dino. time he's not heard what's going on. Big, maybe overcoming or just being loud, as you often get. But on this eco round, loud, maybe, but not proud, as G2 take a third. Flawless. Now the crowd on their feet for that one. G2. Yeah, an attack timeout called in for big. So let's throw this over to the musical instruments in the fan camp. <laughs> <laughs> One of them been able to prepare since the 20 seconds that we brought it up. I hope it's something good. Otherwise, probably have to scrap this idea. Oh, dude, this song's awesome. Yeah, it's actually really well put together. Wow, you guys have nailed this. Look at the cat jam at the top yeah, left. I, see, I like I that. I see two guitar players. I don't know what that dude's doing in the What's rainbow room. <laughs> right. Breaking his wrist or what? something. Oh, our, our guy with the uh, Alex oh, Rich look. has let us know that he has two monitors. Oh, don't worry. okay. It's hidden behind the back, and he's got Henry G up there as well. So nice. And he's clearly a big Cloud9 fan. Clearly. Respect. Oh. Double monitor grind. Yeah. I mean, some might say it's a staple of being a gamer. Exactly. It's a statement, Trace. That's what G2 are trying to make right now, breaking the money of Big and just tearing them through, tearing through them rather. We have another weird low eco buy. Keto, Keto again, back to his old usual tricks, but this time it won't work too well. Amanek sees the feet. And the reason Tizian plays that spot is you're not open to main if you sit a little bit off of, on the door, but you are easily viewable by a player coming out the hut, as we saw. And this is just a cleanup for G2, no problems about it. 
It may have been a 5-0 start. We thought the CT side was back alive, but G2 show us what we've been missing. Or maybe not missing. We've had plenty of T sides in this oh, game. Yeah. But why not add it? Ooh. I'm going to be honest with you, Zonteras. It looked good from here. Not sure how that one didn't register. We used to use an excuse. Mac 10 coming out for Amanek. Who, uh, well, finds Tizian after that. Foot just hanging off into the hut. Not really ideal. Five to four. And this one, this one's got some real potential. It's got some legs on it. Even maybe some wheels. Yeah. I wouldn't be surprised if we get like an OT here. It's a big class. Looking like it, yeah. The last four losses are OT or 30 round games. Oh boy, those spam through the smoke. Tabs and Atizian with opening kills. The bombs dropped and Atizian follows up. It just gets worse by the second. G2 deep down in the hole. Amanek looking to dig him out, but look at Tabson backing up, creating range between him and the MAC-10. Not that he were to know, but it is perfect. And Tizian might get another smoke kill. Why not? He's heard the tag. Kenny grabs the bomb and runs on out. Oh, but they're pushing him. They don't give him the room to play that out. Big, big round there as they get that one locked on in. Six on the board for this CT side. Nice little spray down through the door. Easy peasy. Another orb for Sis, and Kenny's just not even touched it on this T side. He's not really had a lot of interest. He had it last round, but yeah, obviously with how that went, getting smoke spam didn't really get to play into it. Fast flash, and that doesn't realize he's run right by. Flicks back and taps and gets away with a kill, and Tizian is above the hut with another one. G2 are just sending waves into this A site, and they are getting mowed down. Five on two now. One after the other after the other, and you've got to ask yourself, are they doing that to try to pick up the void after one of the CT players swings over? But I really think it's just, you know, G2's attempts to take us into overtime. Well, Tabson does meet his makeup. Hunter now looking to get into A, but it goes about as well for him as it has for everyone else. And for Jax, same story. Seven on the board for Big. And we might have to see G2 revisit these uh, these fast A plays at a later date, because right now they're not exactly giving over the results you were hoping for. Even going to them late, right? Like running a bit of a slower start to the round, throwing the outside smokes, disrupting rotations and making big, you know, guesstimate lower. I think and critically getting some of the utility out the hands of big, yeah. you know, because so often you're just rushing through a smoke and getting spammed before you even get out the other side. So yeah, it would be nice to see maybe some of these outside smokes come in, save enough, right? So that you can still smoke main when you want to go for an A play. Because right now that utility has just been bailing big out time and time again. And now the smokes are down. G2 are going to cross behind them towards B. And going with four as well. Sisson. Oh, boy. He saw a leg. What? That looked dead on. Sisson. Not happy with that. As G2 get a chance down towards B. They know they're pinned in as well by this AWP. So, Sisson. Holding ramp. But Tapson's there, buddy. <laughs> Reminds him. Ah, you're cool, dude. Man, just kind of want to look over your shoulder. Just kind of want to see what was going on in there. Zontera's in lower. Now, this is a position that he's become you know, kind of infamous for. They're going to flash out the window. Surely G2 know that Zontaris frequents this spot. They're already spamming it. It's actually just turned into a straight choke point. That whole fatal funnel concept. The bomb is still red, so G2 are going to end A, maybe. That smoke allows them to somewhat cross, but not pass this with the orc flicking okay. back, dropping one. The bomb gets saved. Now they've just got to go be this the only option. Santares, he's had enough of waiting around and he swings out with a double into the window to the wall. Until what, Hugo? The big win the round, five alive, flawless with an 8-4 score, Trace. Mm -hmm. and just not stopping. I just thought you were going to go with the lyrics. You were going there and I thought, yo, kudos, shout out. Ah, dude, that was original content. What lyrics are you talking about? I perhaps came up with that. Perhaps we can get that artist in on our fan cam band jam. That's a good title, Fan Cam Band Jam. I like that one. Hashtag Fan Cam Band Cam. Not Band Camp or anything else. We're just literally playing music in Discord together.
Well, there we got the fan camps. There are some more musicians trickling their way in. Come on in, everybody. Bring everything you got and play it until everyone mutes you. <laughs> or just play it. That's a great CT hole from Big so far. Three in a row after G2 got their only rounds on this board. The, these are the penultimate three rounds, the final chances for Big. For G2, rather, sorry, to get on this board. Like, four's not enough for sure, right? Even though this is a CT-sided map, this whole game's been T-sided, they want a little bit more. And a buy with a MAC-10 on Amanek. No AWP again. Running behind these smokes. Amanek's going to try and get into main here, or at least up close. He's got teammates behind him going late. That smoke and some fight. He sees the barrel. Oh, dear. oh now he knows the pre fire to tap some wonderful stuff. As now all the outside control goes away of G2. CS is going to try and patch it up, and somehow he hits that. Yeah, but Amanek's already close. And Amanek hears that scope in hell. And now he's like, well, heaven belongs to me, Searson. Searson just knows it. He can't do anything about this. I say he knows it. He doesn't know. He just checked close. He thought it was clear. Uh, so Amanek's working out with a MAC-10. How do I kill these two main players? I think I've realized the downside and only buying this gun. And this might be it. <laughs> oh, dear. It's a real moral dilemma. Amanek is trying to wait up in heaven, hoping that something comes his way. Searson is backtracking all the way in a CT spawn, <laughs> looking for Amanek. Oh. Can't find him yet. But if Amanek even moves a muscle, he will be spotted. And now, like, Amanek is essentially trapped like he can't move he can't really help he might be able to catch the timing on Takito but Jax has already dealt with him Amanek is still waiting and with him being so patient at this point Searson might be like nah it's got to be clear they it know. has to be but yeah he looks so oh. aware and now he's seen him oh. there's the kill for Searson Amanek waits all damn round and doesn't even get to play Jax left in the clutch 1v3 pretty monumental odds stacked up against him is he gonna flash into main? That gets him off the angle for a moment. Jack's back into the lobby. Now with Zantares here. Locks in the round and nine on the board for big. Weird round. Omenek stays alive for so incredibly long. It's kind of mind numbing. And he pulls so much attention too. Yeah, that's how G2 actually get into the site as well, right? Not just the fact that Util is low for big, but they're, they're moving away. They're trying to deal with him outside. Taps has gone out, uh, Tizian's gone outside of main to help. And in all of that time, Jax gets the entries out through the hut into A. Planted for Amanek. Like, there's a world if he doesn't get red by uh, Searson right below him, Amanek can win that round in the clutch and the post plant. But yeah, G2 make the best of a bad situation. They had the opening kill there, though, as well. That kind of all just fell apart. Big. Nine to four, two rounds left. Amanek just got dinked by one of his teammates. That's his punishment. <laughs> Dished out. Yes, at the end of Kenny S standing for Tech Nine here. Nobody tell him. That's not how the letters work. Here he is, lining up. I was going to say some utility, but he's paused it for now while the rest of the gang are throwing over these outside smokes. They will shuffle some in behind them, but this bomb is still back in lobby with Hunter. Heaven smoke thrown in by Kenny. It looks like this could be a fast A play with the main wrap for G2. Jax with the opening kill onto Tabson. Searson dealing with Amanek down in secret. But that is the only man secret bound as the rest still firmly fixated on A. So it falls to all mate Tizian to put up some numbers and he's only good for ones. And Tarez now in the clutch. Round 14, plenty of money for big. He can go for this regardless of the outcome. And any damage he does is great. So oh. there's the first dropped. Jack's on the receiving end. Kenny is a long way away from this A site, and that might come back to punish G2. As Zantares, he's whittled down the enemy forces. Was a 1v3, now a 1v1, and this bomb in the middle of the site. Zantares just waiting patiently. Kenny running in, making noise. Zantares now knows, and death from above for Zantares. Big reach double digits as they put up one hell of a CT side. Oh, G2 are not going to be happy about that round, right? That's all theirs. That's their chance to make this half salvage somewhat. But now 11-4 staring down the barrel of the gun, and Zantares on the other side just laying waste to them in 1v1s. No trades available in any of those positions for G2. Well, we all know what happens there, too. You know, an 11-4 doesn't mean the score is on the door. 
That's a good point, but it's certainly getting big one step closer in this third map. It's no longer about surviving the length or closing it in two. This is the finisher, and big, if I've got to explain numbers to you, are closer than G2. Do you want to explain numbers to me, Hugo? I just did. I just did the calculations there. The mass checks out Hunter. He's on nine health. He gets legged going down towards B. G2. They're going to give it another go. Zantara's back in his spot on B. Tapson's taking rap next and moving in. And unfortunate timing for him. Zantara's with one. Traded by the MAC-10. Molotov can come down, but Tapson's already fighting. There he is. throws a molly onto the site too. That will score the bomb plant and give him another 1v1 where he finds Kenny leaving G2 to chase down these kills. Amanek, great work with the flashbang, but a missed shot oh, on Europe, no. and Amanek could pay the price for it. He's found two, and he's spotted two more. All the info for G2. They're just going to keep fighting, and it keeps working. Amanek off for the ace with a MAC-10. The bomb's been planted. It's just Tizian stuck close on ramp, and they decide to back up. And this is wild. Amanek-10 has come to life here. The nade finding a bit of damage, but Tizian onto the orb. That's not the weapon of choice here. He's going to start to close the distance. Deeg out. Looking for it. Amanek, ace denied. And now just Hunter left to try and bag this fifth round in. 4G2, Tizian, very, very low. Hunter's not much better. And Tizian's made noise looking for him. There's Ooh. the D to deliver it. And the defuse wow. comes in. Amanek with four. But it's not enough, is it? Big, they somehow get 11. I don't know what that last round was. The MAC-10 absolutely dominating. But it's not enough to win the round for G2. Still a second half yet to come. So stick around and join us for it in just a moment.
spreadsheets away because it's time to get back into the game. No more Google Docs, no more of the words, no more of those things. It's just time to play, which is exactly what we're going to do with 11 4 first half. It looks like it's been laid out. It's all a pretty picture. Not if you're G2, of course, but if you're a big clan fan, you've definitely made Nuke look like your playground. Welcome back, everybody. ESL Pro League Season 12, Harry and Hugo, and Harry's going to do the majority of the commentary this half. To your delight. Take it away, Harry. Yeah, we're all dismayed, depending on how you look at it. Let's get into this. We got the uh, the pistol <laughs> round coming up. And look at this, man. G2 already sending a, a handful of boys down towards this B bomb site. They're going to be rotated in through the back lines. The problem is the back lines can very quickly become a bit of a no man's land as Kenny learns the hard way. And now Nexa, he's trapped between a rock and a hard place. Keo does get the better of him. Bomb now looking to go down inside of B. While this is happening, still outside, there's Zantares. And there's this other guy called Searson. And he is looking to join up with Zantares. Now G2 have begun this rotation. Surely they're not ready for the man in ramp. And they were. Searson still coming in on this late lurk. So Tizian needs to buy time. And he's going to buy a lot of time. That's a nifty oh, that little sick. flash to get Tizian that kill. And now, oh, Hunter goes back for Searson. How on earth did he know Tizian left in the clutch? A very tricky 1v2 to navigate. Oh, Down oh, they man. go. And Tizian, the harbinger of G2, locks in that 12 round for big. That's excellent wow. for Tizian. He is alive today. That's two pistol clutches for big on these T sides, man. Their pistol rounds have been so good in this series. The thing back to Dust 2 where it's Tabson in the same spot on the B site. Tip tap and back both. Tizian does it there with a 4K in the round. XD, man. X. -D. X. Oh, Ooh. shout out to the DX Master. Yeah, for G2 right now, this is like, yeah, that's worst case scenario. You know, they probably weren't feeling too down and out after the half, knowing how the, how possible this comeback is on the CT side, but they're running out of rounds. And G2 might get dealt a hard one. Tataris just pokes his head in the A site for a second and then gets out of there alive. Back in with a flashbang. He's blinded by theirs. Tabson holds down the heaven. There's no one in A. Only heaven and hell players here. And a man on B. Keto's getting dinked down. Just needs to stay alive for as long as he can, but they're running him down. Oh, Jax is dead as well, and Zantaras has come up side for support with Tabson. It's just Nexa. This is a big round through and through, 13 to 4. The force for G2 finds nothing, and they get one buy round up against 14. That's all they have to pull this comeback. So you're saying there's a chance. There is a chance. Absolutely. But right now, this I looks like this game. I don't think there's much of a chance. With, like, you think how instrumental someone like Kenny has been to the success of G2. Man's got three kills. Oof. It's not optimal for the G2 side, like, period. There's no way around it. Well, we're almost 20 rounds into this game. Like, that would be forgivable if it's, like, round seven. But it's not. It's far from it, in fact. So you don't forgive Kenny is what you're saying. Well, I mean, I don't know if I get that far. The guy's incredible. But right now... Unforgivable. Yeah. Mm. Well, at this pace... Doesn't really matter where Big Clan go. They're gonna run into some pistols. Oh dear. These glials are gonna shoot right on back. There's the pistol action of Hunter that we looked for. And it was a CZ kill on a Tizian. He gets traded out instantly. Just, just three alive for G2. Battered and bruised. Um, oh, they say ramp is theirs, but Jax, he has an issue with that statement. Oh, the Molotov missing, going a bit too high. And so Jax, he'll lose the fight anyway. It's not really a worry for Big. We do have access to that B-bomb site now. G2 both stacked up on A, or at least top right as we speak. And Big aren't in a rush. They're going to move down low and slow towards the B-bomb site. Plant should be allowed. Yep, here comes the utility dump from Big. They look towards lower. Kenny, rotation in now. Nexa is going to have to get over there eventually as well but he's even further away from the problem. Oh dear. That he drops the bomb. Keto will trade, and now it leaves Nexa. 1v2, Deegan armor. Definitely a chance. You got Nexa on the other side. I'm always believing. This guy, pretty synonymous with some big plays. Centares, hidden behind this smoke, concealed, catches the perfect timing. So it does get the better of him. 14 on the board for Big. And this is it for G2 and for G2 fans. This is the buy round that decides everything. 
can G2 try and grind their way back into this like they did on Dust and like Big did to them on Vertigo? Or does it end right here, right now? Because if they lose this round, it is all said and done. They'll have no money up against 15. It would be the slimiest of comebacks, too. I mean, I'm talking just a, a creep crawl. Well, it starts anywhere. This is anywhere. That's here, right now. Big, patient start. They know what they're up against. They know they can close this entire series before any worry, any sweat. If they take their sweet time, Citizens crossed red with the orb. Not for long. He gets out of there for free. So only next are holding outside from the back of garage. Kenny's checking from hell as well. They can line up a utility too on the T roof, T roof right now. Just holding default lobby while big move outside. Doesn't seem like they want that A side by the looks of things, right? Coming in for that main split. Heaven Molotov lying in wait. Nexa, he should have kills here as long as he doesn't quick, sw quick switch again. Here they come. Nexa spraying them down. Gets one, traded immediately. And now the player on top of the hut roof. Hunter finds another, but Zantaris doubles down and grabs the bomb, bringing it towards A. Kenny pulls out the heavens and he only gets one before the trade. It's now onto Jax for the map, a one on two. Man, and he's mollied out of heaven. This is brutal. And I tell you what, Centaurus has really come alive here on Nuke, and that has made all the difference for Big, right? We've got everyone showing up in spades. Jax, he's got to somehow overcome all odds. Still a utility in the hands of Big as well that could look to complicate matters. Jax hops down, but now they've heard him. There's the swings, and Tarez with the fourth. And it's map and series point for Big. We had two incredibly close games. We had an almost comeback from Big on Vertigo. We had G2 looking like they were going to do the same thing on Dust. And as close as it's been, as good as these comeback stories have been, it might all end in a bit of a whimper for G2. Up against 15, look at the buy, it's hideous, it's gross. <laughs> it's the only nice gross. weapon there is the auto shotgun on Jax. Then you've got two Famuses, an MP7, and a UMP. Oh, and through Molotovs as well. No waiting around for big. They want to close it with Stahl and Finesse. Tizian spraying back, blinded, Amanek dead, and Keto follows up. That's a cleaned out and done. G2 have 2B, and they are running back up the ramp to walk into this orb. The shotgun on Jack, smoking off Searson. He doesn't want to go through it. He has a utility of his own just to keep them here, but Jack's jump shotting with the shotgun. Zatara is running him down, but not able to do so. AK picked up, and the retake's on. Yeah, Jax opening it up, making it feel like maybe there's a chance, and he is in with another. Uh-oh. Searson's having to go for a long wrap back outside, and Jax, the third, really coming alive. Oh. There's the heaven split, and it's all onto Searson. 1v2, the bomb planted for main. He needs to peek. They are on it, and there's oh. the to end it. What a way.